Oh no. There's no frozen fruit. Only these delicious gyoza. Why did I not think of this yesterday, when I was finishing the fruit? Okay, I found a solution. The fruit from yesterday that we didn't eat and ice cubes equals frozen fruit. Little Maddie at the desk. I get to sit at this table and this bowl we will be getting rid of. My mum brought it up because she thought that we wanted it and I love it. We used to have it but it's very big. Too okay. big, way too big. It's too big for this table because if you're ever trying to do anything and we used to have fruit in it um, but we've only got a small space in the kitchen with the fruit and this just takes up too much space so as beautiful as it is we're gonna have to Give it back to her. Yeah, but I'm gonna sit and have my breakfast and write my to-do list. Do you want a coaster? Are oh, you alright? We're gonna paint this. Me and Manny were just chatting about all sorts, really. Vlogmas. Um, but may yeah, we were just chatting about Vlogmas just now. I'd given it some thought, but I hadn't really thought in detail about the format. The way I was thinking of going about it was, I guess a lot of YouTubers, vloggers do it different ways, but the way I was thinking was you start filming the day before Chris. Uh, December, so 30th of November, so the first video is up on the 1st of December and then you, so you upload for, tw well, the way I would do it is upload the next 24 days yeah. until Christmas Eve, so the last video you film is the day before Christmas Eve, the 23rd, Eve. Christmas Eve Eve and that goes live on the 24th and yeah. then you're not filming on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day because Maddie said you were editing on Christmas Day last I year. I did that last year for Vlogmas, I started on the first and that meant I had to do 25 days which meant I um, filmed every day and that included filming Christmas Eve and Christmas Day because I did a what I did on Christmas Day oh, right. and I also edited on Christmas Day because I was editing and uploading the Christmas Eve video or at least I think so yeah, yeah I think I did and it drove me a bit mad so I think it's um, good to do it this way because you get a uh, video all up until Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day, most people will just hang out with family anyway. And if you do film on Christmas Eve, because you might uh, film on Christmas Eve, you can always upload that later on, like, yeah. a few days after. Yeah, that's true. The plan we had for Christmas was, yeah, okay. we're not going to be we're not going to be together on Christmas Day itself. Maddie will be will be together until like twenty third. Then Maddie will go down to Cornwall, and then and you're the, going to Surrey. I'll go to Surrey to my parents for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and, and then on Boxing Day, you're driving down to Cornwall. Yes. Early. Uh, early, yes, and we'll have like a a second Christmas Day there. Because obviously Alex's family live in Surrey, mine live in Cornwall. Um, sadly, we have to spend it separately. Last year Alex spent it with me. Um, but we decided that, that we can have a second Christmas day on Boxing Day, which will solve the problem. And um, I'll just have to be all sad by myself on Christmas Day. By yourself? I'm joking. Yeah. It makes me very sad, but it's just kind of one of those things that you, I'm sure lots of people have to deal with. And actually, why the hell isn't there two Christmas days? Because <laughs> how many families have to do this? We have two that, people together and that, they live in different places and you have to sort of, you have to sort of say, oh, who's Christmas are you going to? Or are we going to spend Christmas together? Yeah, but together? that's, and, that's what Boxing Day is for. But it's not, because Boxing Day is for Christmas Day, there should be two Christmas no, Days. No, yeah, but that, it's used as a second Christmas Day. I guess we the, should make it a second the Christmas difference day. is most people only live like half an hour away from the rest of their relatives yeah. instead yeah. of four hours. We'll have um, plenty of Christmas stuff in Vlogmas. Oh yeah, of course. Including the first video, or well, the second video, will be us putting the Christmas tree up. <laughs> That'll be fun. So I think we'll it's have gonna to, be. I know we'll have to go on the first episode of Vlogmas. We'll have to go Christmas hunting, Christmas tree hunting. We'll oh yeah, definitely. Things. Yeah, because I think the what we're doing is a bit all over the place now because we're still settling into the flat. But I know that December is going to be a pretty fun month. Can't wait. In general, yeah. Yay! Right, so I was just reading about Snapchat and how their stocks plummeted by like twenty percent or something because they had a shareholder meeting and they released all their earnings. If you had loads of money, it would be so easy to just follow these like shareholder meetings. If the news is good, buy loads of stock. If the news is bad, wait until the stock's plummeted, then buy it again. 
Like, you know, when Pokemon Go was very popular and everyone bought Nintendo stock thinking Nintendo owned it, but Nintendo had nothing to do with it. Mm. And then the stock price of Nintendo plummeted. Mm. And then you just buy loads and loads of Nintendo stock because it's Nintendo. The stock's going to go all the way back up again. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Well, we need to get into investing. I want to invest in Bitcoin and yeah. Ethereum and stuff. I'm almost mad that I didn't didn't have the mon I don't have the money right now to invest in Bitcoin and stuff like that because that just seems like such a good investment to me. Also, because it's like anti-establishment, it's like going against banks. I'm kind of all for that. Yeah, dangerous though. Mm, I don't think it is. Based on the like the way it's been going, because I part of me just wants to do it like kind of like how I believe in veganism and minimalism because I'm just so banks are just. You know, one of the worst things, and I just think that it's a, it's well, the future. I don't really know how you'd even buy one one hundredth of a bitcoin if you wanted to. You go online and Google it, mate. Well, that seems sh like you could get involved in shady stuff without knowing it. <clears throat> no. Obviously, you'd research it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a bit of an unknown to me. This is what Alex does when I'm like, let's go. He's like chatting all about this nonsense. And then you started filming me. Yeah, because I was like trying to put you on the spot okay. to be like, let's go. Right, I'm ready. Okay. So all this stuff needs to go. It's taking up the hallway since we've tidied. <coughs> and, um, oh, is there a Sainsbury's we can nip into to return these? Alex bought a fake plant and I'm not having any of it. <coughs> um, he was being really sweet, to be fair, weren't you? But I don't like fake plants because I just look at them and think you're a fake plant. And they're made of plastic and other <laughs> and I don't want to support the fake plant industry. Now I have to bleep out your swear word. Did I say swear word? Yes. What did I say? You said <laughs> But who agrees with me? I just think fake plants are just no. Right, let's go. <laughs> but we need to get the car first. We're not taking this all with us yeah. in our arms. You I, can. I need to finish my smoothie. No, just take it with you. You don't have time. Oh, the colouring on this camera makes me look weird. It makes my teeth look yellow and my mouth look purple. My teeth yellow, isn't it? This lighting looks nice here. You look kind of tanned. Yeah, it's weird. It makes you look a strange colour. I'm yeah. not used to. I'm not used to the the G7X makes you look so um, glam. So it's like just put a filter on it in post. Mmm. Let's go. dream car. I think it was my dad's first car and I just, I just want a mini so bad. They're so cute. I'd pay good money to see your dad in a tiny mini. My dad is six foot six for reference. Yeah. So yeah, I just want, I just want a mini. They're so cute. Not the new ones, the old ones. Yeah. yeah. I have a vintage mini that I can do up. Here in the little car. Look at our hair. It's gone everywhere. <sighs> Safety first. I need to clean this car. Let's go along this way. I can show you all the shops. Why does this camera make me look purple? Not a good look. No? No. How about that one? I do like this one, but I'm not sure about the neck. I wish it didn't have the neck. Because that's really that's itchy. Perfect. Yeah, that's why I got rid of my old one. And like, I love that this, the thing about um, woolen jumpers, woolen jumpers, they often are long like this and they're really unflattering. <laughs> like they literally just make you look so big. And this one is yeah. like foxy, which is more flattering because it kind of, that's like, really cute, but then this, it's just that would just drive me nuts because it's so itchy. And I don't think it's big enough for the jumper, it just looks weird. Because I didn't explain this, because I had um, 
Oh, well, two woolen jumpers just like this. When I decluttered, I got rid of them because I felt bad because they were made from wool. But then since, I regret it because they were my comfiest and loveliest jumpers. And they were second hand, so I wasn't doing any harm. And it's better than having to buy new um, synthetic. synthetic jumpers to buy second hand wool. Mm. I think it's smart because they are very, very warm, very, very comfortable. And it isn't harming anybody. And um, okay. yeah, I really regret getting rid of them, so I'm trying to replace it. You'll find one one day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember I got rid of my coat that looked just like this because it was a bit big. Vaguely. So this is more like a jacket than a coat, isn't it? It's a bit mm. short. Okay. We've just dropped off some money in the bank, transferred all of our cash from our travels, which we still haven't done, which actually. When we were in Malaysia. Yeah, when we were in start, Malaysia. Start of July. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's kind of good because it meant we saved the money. I kind of did that intentionally. Yeah. So now we're going to pop into... It's a nice little bonus. Pop into Holland and Barrett to get some toothpaste and then head back home. This one. Why well, don't I have to get that one? It's just that one was the one I... Well... I do up. like... Half price. You can try like... Um... I think it, I need to not get the whitening ones because they obviously have... No. Is there a fluoride-free one? Fluoride-free, this is it. That's, no, that's fennel. That's the one you hate. Amy's. And fries. <gasps> fries cocktail sausages. Look at those. Those look good. Don't they? Oh, this just makes me all, all the pies. Oh. Somebody commented saying that they loved the pies on my video and they said they can't find them anywhere. We've just found really? them in the Holland and Barrett in Hove. Yeah, Holland and Barrett has all the fries stuff. That's so good. Oh my god, Alex, you know how much I want that. <laughs> oh, they have Booji Booji ice cream. Oh my god, Alex, please, can we get some? All I want is this. This is the best ice cream, vegan ice cream you can buy. It's my favorite vegan ice cream. And look, I've only got four ingredients. So not only is it the healthiest, but it tastes the best. All that's in there is water, agave syrup, cashew nuts, and cocoa powder, and it's all organic. Literally. So Alex got these because they're in the penny sale. Still, it's amazing. And then he convinced me. This toothpaste is my favorite toothpaste I've ever used literally made my teeth whiter within like a week of using it and the sensitivity in my teeth went away. It's great. So you're saying I have to put these in myself? No. I walked all the way from the car. Oh. Just can't get the service these days. Oh. I added a bit of mayo. Yum yum yum. Perfection. <laughs> Lovely. It's so warm outside, I don't even need a coat. Well, I didn't need a coat when I walked back from the car. <sighs> the weather's crazy here. It's almost, almost t-shirt temperature inside, but not quite. Whee! I'm liking this. Did you tell them where it's from? No, this ethical is our superstore. Ethical superstore. This is our brand new super mop. It's an eco mop, so you can yeah. you only need to use water with it because it's designed that so it's like really picks up the dirt. And then you can just put it in the washing machine. So it saves you using any sort of harmful detergent and stuff. Mm. I think it's an actual like proper like how much stuff there is. It's a proper hairy, mm. hairy mop. It's probably better for this floor as well, you don't put anything on it. Yeah, that's what I think so. It can like strip the wood or whatever. Yeah, just use water as the best option. Hot water. Well, thank you for doing it. Have you seen our little baskets up here? Little baskets. I'm just showing them the uh, Look. the living room. Oh. It looks lush. It does look good. Thank you for doing this. I mean, we kind of did it together, really, didn't we? What baskets? Oh. Sweet. Oh, that's pretty handy, actually. Yay! How's the bedroom looking? Looking pretty good. Look, it's crashed. They have a new thing that happens when it crashes now. You get to fill out a whole little thing about why it's crashed. Oh, great. Hello. Just gonna whip up some curry. <laughs> Do I just look weird? They always look weird. I just cleaned them because that other toothpaste was hurting my teeth oh. and making them like I don't know if anyone else experiences this, like, I've told Alex to not get the super drug toothpaste because it makes my teeth hurt 
and you did it anyway. Got it, I got it for me and then you ran out. So really it's your fault for not getting any more. No, you bought toothpaste. We shared toothpaste. You bought toothpaste I can't use. That's not very nice, is it? So I had to buy some new toothpaste because it, um, by the end of, by like midday, my teeth ache and they like hurt mm. and they feel like I haven't cleaned my teeth and it starts to feel uncomfortable. So I had to clean my teeth again. So I've just, I think it's something in there that's making my teeth sensitive because it's whitening toothpaste. So I've just used the Eco Dent, which I used ages ago, like last year, and I love it. It's like my favorite toothpaste. So hopefully that makes my teeth feel better. Don't scrape the pan like last time. I won't. Is that wind or is that somebody doing something? It's the wind on the scaffolding. Is it? Yeah. It sounds way... I mean, it is windy, but it sounds way worse than it is. It is very windy earlier when we went that, for that walk. Mm. What are you doing? Filming. Three, four. No, three. Three's a magic number. And that did the, the breakdown. So since I cooked, uh, you'll be cleaning this up? Yeah. First time you've cooked in this flat, right? Yeah, I made the sauce all by myself from Tesco. <laughs> so I'm going to make Alex hot chocolates in our brand new mugs from my sister. It was our, her housewoman gift to us. As well as, where's the plate? What plate? Oh. The plate she got. I don't know where you put it. I put it up here because there's no space anywhere else yeah. and I'm sorting the kitchen out tomorrow. Look how beautiful. I When I opened it I was like... <laughs> It's so been great. So far we've had a crisp selection yeah. and garlic garlic bread. bread. We actually have used yeah. it literally twice it when works. we only had it for a few days. It works really well for yeah. both. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to make hot chocolate I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Chef Maddie. Chef Maddie. So what you first want to do is... Mayo. Oh, oh you can do a cashew milk. Cashew milk. Oh, do we? So much. Oh, you have one. I'm going to do a mixture of milks. Or is that bad? No, probably you shouldn't do that. Uh, Let's stick with soy. Cashew milk would work well, and I made a uh, hot chocolate out of cashew milk last week when you went here when you went away for the night. Uh, what? Yeah. And I did actually film it, but um, I'm scrapping it because it was really dark and um, it just wasn't filmed very well. I looked no. over the footage and I was like, mm. So you want to fill up your mug with milk, but not too high, like you want to leave a little bit of space because you're going to be adding chocolate, obviously, and that adds volume. And then pour it in. Oh, that went everywhere. <laughs> and then, this is for two people, so I've eaten some of this chocolate. But, um, uh, Chef Maddie, shall we put the cooker on? Oh yeah. Well, I'm, you know, it's not, not in a rush. I'm extremely hungry for this. Hungry? And then you put it on not too high, put it on like three or something, mid heat. You do not want the three. Um, milk to burn, that is a really bad idea, because then the milk will be... Disgusting. So I've put two pieces, two pieces of dark chocolate, that's quite a lot, you don't really need to. 
So when you say two chocolate. pieces, are they two big squares? Yeah, they're two big squares. Okay, have we finished the dark chocolate? But you could do with just one. That's it now. Really? Oh. Yeah, because it's actually really surprising because it's dark chocolate is so strong. And this is optional too. I'm adding a little bit of cocoa powder. Just a little oh, yeah. cacao powder, just to make it a little bit more chocolatey. And this will be whisked up in a moment. Don't, don't fear. Do not fear. And the secret ingredient. This is the secret ingredient that makes it taste so festive. Is it love? It is love, but it is also no cinnamon. Oh. Cinnamon makes it taste like it is Christmas, New Year, ha um, autumn, winter, um, what other things? Pumpkin spice, I don't know, what other? Yeah. Christmas tea. It just, it just makes it so good. And then the other little secret, not ingredient, but secret device is one of these little bad boys. So my mum offered to give me one of these when I left and I was like, nah, I don't need that. And I totally forgot that I actually used to use it all the time for hot chocolate because it makes it frothy. So it's like a minute to whisk. So you just got all that together on the low heat and then you just whisk it up and wait for the chocolate to melt. And you want to keep stirring so that it doesn't burn the milk <clears throat> and keep an eye on it. Don't like leave it or anything. Is that safe for the bottom of non-stick pads? Oh, bugger, yeah, true. Sorry, I'll stop doing that. Now. It's okay. Maybe next time, you know, you are a chef. <laughs> I totally forgot. I wasn't scratching that much, was I? No, it's very, it's a spring, it's springy. Yeah. So, shall we get back to you when it's ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, see you then. See you then. Look at this froth that's developing. If you keep frothing it up with this, it just makes it so lovely. It's like the uh, little um, packets I used to get from like Aero. <gasps> oh, I forgot an ingredient. <laughs> Maple syrup, you need some kind of sweetener in there because otherwise it would just taste really bitter. Quite bitter, yeah. So, don't go mad because you really don't need a lot. Really? No, honestly, because it's, it's, it okay. get, becomes too sickening otherwise. Mm. Maple syrup's very strong. I'm sorry, it is unsweetened. So you just taste it's just, it. Just to counteract the, the dark chocolate. Yeah, just a dash or like just like a teaspoon of sugar or something. Okay. You, taste it before you pour it. That's really important. You've always got to taste it before you pour it because it might not be to taste. It might need to be a bit more chocolatey or it might need to be a bit more sweet. I look so good. I feel like all these vlogs are just showing me Wait, being like really your... gross. No, it's the side, it's the fluff. But it's just like every day, I just, at the end of the day, I just whack my hair up mm. and I put my pyjamas on and then that's when Alex vlogs, so it's like I look disgusting all the time. I mean, we're not looking great, are we? No. No. You know, I thought maybe this time I grew my beard back, this would be gone, but it's <laughs> still there. One day when you're a big boy. So this is gone wrong, this is why, not gone wrong, but you have to taste it because it doesn't taste chocolatey enough because obviously last time I made it was just for me. So I'm putting one of these little guys in, this little cho Easter egg. This is pretty old. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought it was a Christmas one. Chocolate chicks. So it's not chocolatey enough, so I'm plopping him in and seeing how that helps because I know why. It's because when I did it, I used one cho piece of chocolate, but these packets for some reason they have one line which has big chocolate chunks and they have other lines which have small chocolate chunks. You done goofed. So I think that that's how much I did for just myself last time. You did one big one and we've got yeah. two small ones. Yeah. So okay. I think that you need about one and a half big ones. You just don't know. It depends on the chocolate. You can't. There's no recipe. You have to just give it a go. But the frothing is going well. Right, this can only end well. I'm a pro. Uh, oh yeah. Never you threw me that. off, you threw me off, you threw me off. Oh no, look, there's loads of chocolate that's not melted. Is that why? Maybe. Oh. Uh, we'll just lick it off the ball. I wish we had some like mood lighting in here so we didn't have to have these crazy bright lights. We can turn it off now, can't we? <laughs> right, taste test. Mmm. You can taste the cinnamon, it's really good. It's matter. How do you drink it? So hot. I drink tea all day, so I'm used to it. Ah, oh, that's good. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you've got to play around with the um, the ingredients. You have to sort of fiddle with it to get it right. I, we had, I had to add a lot more maple syrup because there's two of us, so. Good night. <laughs>